we're going to have a larger and larger groups of people ingesting THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, right? And what is it going to do? And uh, you know here at Hidden Power University, we deal with some far out information. And uh, one of the things that has been revealed to me is that certain beings in order to take this planet, they got to change the density level. I talk a lot about extraterrestrials. I talk, to, I talk about uh, interdimensional beings and they all have different density levels, different vibrations. Well, one thing that's happening is the density or the vibration has to be brought down. So this is just maybe for some people that's trying to find out, wow, should I keep smoking weed? And I'm sure there's people out there say, you know what, this is not good for me. I'm smoking this stuff too much. And, and we're going to go into that because sometimes it's the dosage and the frequency like any other drug. Dosage and frequency, but you could just buy it and smoke it. You could be a chain weed smoker. And there's no discipline or any regimen in terms of the dosage and the frequency. But anyway, just a quick fun fact as we get started. How's everybody doing? And when I give you this information, take heed to it. Do your due diligence. But information and knowledge is supposed to change and transform you. You're supposed to grow to another level with it. Did you know that the reason why the uh, THC even affects you is because your nervous system has receptor sites that allow it to be ingested into your brain cells? Did you know that? So if there's receptor sites on the cells, that means the body already makes THC. Anything that can affect your body in terms of natural plants and herbs, all of these things can also be manufactured in the body. So the body produces a, a, a internal or indigenous, indigenous, or they say Indo, right, on the, on the West Coast, Indo, right, because it's inside you. The THC is already inside you, and when you take the external aspect you're actually bombarding your cells and becoming what you call desensitized to it so your body already produces the thc we're going to go deeper into thc it also produces the cbd so that's giving you a clue where i'm going now nine ways the weed opens you up to dark entities or demonic entities first of all it makes you more open and receptive whatever energies is around you it's almost like if you're in a house and you open all of the windows and all of the doors, open the garage all night, you're open and receptive to whatever is out there. If someone wants to rob you or some kids think it's a, a cool place to play around and, and uh, you know, they're going to wander in the house, right? Especially if you're in an environment that's already negative. Why would you do that? You're making yourself open and receptive, so that's number one. You're opening the door to foolishness. You're raising the uh, increasing the probability of possession and manipulation. And some of these deities, when they latch onto you, they don't just go after you stop smoking weed. They latch onto you and take up resonance in your in your aura. Now you're stuck with this thing. Number two, it gives you access to your subconscious where your trauma resides. And this is where your internal demons are. So now you think it's all about, you know, you think you, you have to consider the fact you're opening yourself to external demonic influences, but we also have our internal demons. They say face your demons or conquer your demons. These are things that are inside of you. So you smoking weed, getting to certain levels of a high or trance state, now, what happens is now you start all your inner demons start coming up. So now your inner demons are fighting with the external demons. And then you smoking with other people. It, it just makes a whole bunch of, you know, uh, a, a, a form of a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion. That's not good for your spirit. So a lot of a lot of that takes place. Number three, it compromises your discernment in your intellect. Now, again, a lot of these is dealing with the levels of high. There's every different species of it and everything affects everybody differently. OK, you don't know where the weed came. You don't know what the attitude. You don't know the species. You, there's too many unknowns. It's just buy something from the corner 
right, from somebody you barely know, right? So it compromises your discernment. Now you don't, you're not making wise decisions. You're not making wise decisions. You're not doing things to the extent that it's for your rise and you could be tricked and manipulated by these entities or tricked and manipulated by people in your environment. Because of the mere fact, it lowers your intellect. That's a fact. These are not things I'm making up. These are facts. You, it lowers your intellect. And people that smoke weed prior to the age of 18, it permanently lowers their intellect because their brain is still developing. So you've been smoking this stuff since some since you were, you know, 15 and 14 and 13. It, it, you could have been much brighter, much smarter, had more discernment. But it permanently damages your IQ and your intellect. That's a fact. Next is reduces oxygen to the brain. Anything that is combusted, I even talk about the incense, right? Even sage, all of that. It When you breathe it in, it's putting particles of carbon in your lungs. And it's decreasing the amount of oxygen that can be absorbed into your lungs and into your bloodstream because you got this other chemical interwoven with it. So not only that, it's making you stupider and dumber because of the mere fact you're getting less oxygen to the brain. Next, it compromises your will. You'll have the same level of willpower. Now, when you don't have your level of will, your will is one of the most powerful things you, that you can do to withstand demonic forces. Your willpower, your intent, right? A sense of where you're going and what you want to do. But when your will is depleted, it's willy-nilly, it's whatever. So it depletes your will and that also subjugates you and makes you more vulnerable for demonic and dark, deceased energy. A lot of beings, you think it's just us here, but this planet is a cesspool of beings that could not go to higher levels. So they just hover around this planet after they pass on. They still attach to the planet. They don't have the vibration. They don't have the vision. They don't have the power to transcend and go to other places. So they still hovering around this planet. It's called dark deceased entities. So many of us talk about ancestors. How many of our ancestors were that much more advanced than us, really? Were they really that spiritual? Were they really that more advanced? This is not popular, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Now... Like I said, it reduces your IQ. I think I must have put that one in twice. It reduces your IQ. So you're not as smart. Now, moving on to number seven. It changes or damages the level of coordination you have in your body. The level of coordination. So if you're an athlete or a dancer, it messes with your coordination. Okay. Uh, it damages the body of the baby that's developing. Some people may be carrying a child or you may be breastfeeding. The child's getting secondhand marijuana smoke. Those cannabinoids now damage the brain of the baby. Now we have this spike in ADD or attention deficit disorder. We have this spike in hyperactivity. And then you have them mixed it. You have the HDHD, HHDHD, right? Attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Okay. Also learning disabilities in children from smoking weed. Studies show. Now, again, this is perpetuating a cycle. I want you to look at this at a, at a bigger picture. What if more and more people start smoking this thing, get addicted to this thing? Where are we going with this? They don't want to pay for jails. They're going to. And I'm, I'm going to give you a little clue where we going with where they're going on this timeline. They don't want to pay for jails. So the, the liberals, quote unquote, what they call them, they're going to pretty much abolish jails because the whole society is a jail. You follow me? The whole society becomes a jail because you're so controlled. More and more people are going to be medicated. They're going to say, no, there's nothing wrong with this person. They just need medication. Why they keep stealing and robbing or violence? This is where your implants comes in. This is where your AI comes in. The surveillance comes in because the whole thing is a prison. We don't need a prison. Y'all all in jail. Mark my words. Mark the date. Mark the date because you can't govern yourself. Right. 
a population of people that's like children. You got to coddle them and govern them. You got to have all these rules and regulations upon regulations. Huge government to control these children. Now, nine. Those who use marijuana tend to earn less money. That's more stress. That opens the body to demonic attack. More relationship issues and contention. It opens to demonic attack. Everywhere you go, down here in Atlanta, I go I go in a certain part of town, ain't nothing but weed in the air. You don't even have to smoke weed. You just go outside and walk around, smell the weed. Broke areas, impoverished areas, crime-ridden areas, prostitution, pimping and hoeing, or anything else you could think of goes on when you smell that scent of marijuana. Come on, y'all know it's a fact. You know it's a fact, so... You earn less relationship, more relationship problems, more legal problems. You have more health problems. You have depression. And people talk about, you know, smoking cigarettes, but at least cigarettes have a little filter on it. You should get a cigarette. Look at the tip with the part that you put in your mouth. It's a filter. Weed, you getting all the tar, all that stuff goes directly into your lungs. Don't let me get on cigars. I know y'all see me smoking those cigars. I had to leave them cigars alone. We're going to have to open the way another way. Even though I wasn't inhaling it, taking a few puffs, you get those cigars, the nicotine gets into your body on your lips and from your tongue and all that, right in your mouth, goes right into your bloodstream. Facts. One cigar, smoke one cigar is like smoking a whole pack of cigarettes at one time with no filter. Well, we don't inhale it. You know you're not supposed to inhale cigar smoke, by the way. But you smelling all this, the secondhand smoke. <laughs> Y'all can have that. Y'all can have that. I don't care about the, you know, what the Arisha did, what the priest did in Europe, but to tap in. You got to surpass that. That's letting you know where we're going with this. Everything you can do from simply getting on the frequency of it. And your body will produce the effects. You don't need the outside chemicals. You don't need the outside chemicals. You ever been in love before? I'm talking about in love, like the first few months. You are on a high. You are on a dopamine high. You don't need nothing else. You don't be forgetting to eat, don't want to go to work. Only thing you think about is your beloved, right? Because you high. And studies have shown that the dopamine levels have spiked so high in that person. Let something happen to that person, that person break up with you. It's like, it's like going through a crash. Be having chills, can't sleep, can't eat, can't think. Because you were high off that dopamine. The relationship you had. Well, what if you have that relationship with the most high? What if you have that relationship with your own higher self with that? You could be on perpetual high. You don't need drugs. You don't need drugs. Now. This is for our men, also for our women too. Y'all say you want a masculine man, right? I say you want a man that's resourceful. You want a man that make things happen. A good protector, a good provider, a good leader. So this is going to be for our men and women. But I'll say it's from the men from their direct perspective. Smoking weed lowers your testosterone. Smoking weed lowers your testosterone. So now, gaining weight, not to mention the black lips. I can't tell you how filthy it looks for a woman to have those black lips from smoking weed so much. Just my opinion. I got to tell the truth. The media ain't going to tell you, tell you the truth. But anyway, uh, so it lowers your testosterone. So you get all of the ill effects of low testosterone. Gaining weight, can't keep muscle mass, you're more emotional, you're not focused, Right. Lack of confidence. You fall victim to depression. You fall victim to man boobs. Right. Man boobs. That means you got too much estrogen in your body. Can't make it happen. So it ain't good for you. And it definitely is not good for your woman because you ain't going to have one it's being a chain weed smoker. OK, so that's the bonus. It lowers your testosterone. Weed does the exact opposite of everything that our products do. Right. Our products boost your testosterone, boost your intelligence, boost your, your discernment, 
this information takes you to a higher frequency. So if you want to smoke on something, you smoke on Hidden Power University. Get high off this information. Shalom, why do everybody? I hope that help. I hope I helped you out. Either way, some people going smart. Some people smoking right now while they listening to this. Hey, what? <laughs> anyway, black top road lips. Absolutely got them armor roll lips. Lips look like you know how those big trucks got the exhaust pipes because all that smoke been coming out of it. Nigga, lips look like an exhaust pipe from all that smoke coming out of it, <laughs> right? No hate, but my brother Snoop Doggy Dog, I'm like, damn, what is wrong with you that you have to stay high all the time? You have to stay smoking all the time? Like, he is synonymous with weed. We got it, man. Weed is beautiful for you. We got it. You did a song about it. You did an album about it. Now what? The chronic, all of this stuff. All about just smoking weed. And they give it away what they're about. Death row. Right? That's the frequency to put you right back in the grave from the frequency of the lost angels. Right? Los Angeles. Anyway. Shalom, why do everybody? Meth and Red Man too. All of them. They damn near 60 years old still talking about making songs about smoking weed. Grand, people's grandpas. It's called retardation, people. It's called staying at the same level. The same level. We love these people. I love Snoop Dogg. I love his music. I love meth, red man, all of them. You know me. I love them. Old school, golden age hip hop. Right? But I can't get down with the stagnation and you tap dancing, you know, just to get that money. You're a grandfather now. You can't. What's really be creative, you can make some deep songs about what it is to be married for so long, how what it is to have children and grandchildren and make put the swag on that. Can you do that? Anybody can still make a remix of an old weed song you made 30 years ago. Anyway, Shalom do people. Sometimes I listen back to my videos I'm like, Dad, I'll be busting people's chops. But hey, it is what it is. I'm keeping it real, though. I'm not going to sit up here and tap dance for you. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to help somebody today. You see? Now we're going to the voting. All right. I thought I broke that down. I'll give you the quick answer. I'll give you the quick answer. It's all about participation. It's about rendering unto Caesar. The master said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's and render unto the Lord what is of the Lord. You see, and what that means is this. You got to live in the world, but not of the world. This is this is a little advanced because some of y'all, you think you've arrived. You're so spiritual, but you're really not because you negate everything of the world. That's why some of y'all broke. That's why we got the world, go this country in particular, going in the direction that it's going because young people, right, especially are coming out and influencing it going to the left when you have not gained the wisdom. You have to render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Right. You have to participate for this particular reason. Some people say it's a fiasco. What's not a fiasco? Hmm? It's an illusion. It's rigged. What's not rigged? You an illusion. You assimilation. This whole damn thing is assimilation. It's about your intent and your participation. You stepping up to the to your power in participation. Right. But Nazir. Why should I do that when this doesn't matter? Well, if, if that doesn't matter, then nothing matters. What kind of person is it making you? First of all, you don't want to vote because you don't want to learn and study. You don't want to learn about the policies. you rather go off emotions based on ads you see on TV. But if you're going to vote, you have to be aware that that's work. That requires study and thought and individualism. Y'all don't want to do that. I do it. My conversations are not just about ETs and dimensions, right? Some of y'all, that's the only thing you could talk about. Tell me about, tell me something about economics. Tell me something about biology and science and physics and engineering. Tell me about coding, right? Can you talk about that? No. Well, holistically, you're not conscious. You got to have all the numbers to the combination to open the safe you can't just be about 
you know, just health for some, for, for some people, just health. Oh, collard greens. Oh, be a vegetarian. That's it. No, that's not holistic. They could pass a law on your butt and, and eliminate herbs. Did you know that? In the 90s, they tried to eliminate all herbs. Tell you what, when they pass a law on you saying you can't homeschool your children or saying that you can't take herbs, when they throw your butt in jail for not doing it, that's the result of not participating. And when you sit and square in that cell, that won't be the delusion. You see? So that's it for now, people. I go on and on. Do what you want. You talking to somebody. I'm old enough to be some of y'all dad. You don't have to vote. It's fine. I'm telling you how to live in the world, but not of the world. How to render unto Caesar. You see? How to render unto Caesar. You could talk about don't vote, but I bet your ass pay your taxes. They're going to force you to pay your taxes. They say, by the way, one of the benefits is living here, you can vote. No, nah, I'm not going to vote. Well, you just shot yourself in the foot. Think, people. Think. Stop smoking that weed. Hello, Marquette, everybody. Once again, Nazir Ra, and I'm about to make my, my Candida Killer Tea. And if you can see, all the herbal blend is in there. And one thing that you have to do when you do it on the stovetop is you have to strain it. You have to you know, boil it, you have to seep it, and then you strain it. And what that does is give you extra steps. So right now I'm gonna tell you a quick way to do it uh, so that you don't have to have all those steps. Simply get yourself a regular coffee maker. You can get those for 20 bucks at Target or at Walmart and get yourself some organic uh, coffee strainers. And what you do is just simply make it like you're making coffee. It's very simple. One of my members reminded me of that technique uh at the event and i was like wow that's very powerful so you just make it like coffee here's your strainer right there right you drop in your tea i'm gonna put three this time right and i call this my ultimate detox tea because i'm also gonna add the skin tea okay i'm gonna add the skin tea this is gonna be a liver kidney detox which helps purify your blood and gives you clearer skin Candida gives you dandruff, dry skin, eczema, moodiness, all the things that just makes you a foul looking funky person. We don't want to be like that. We want to be clean. We want our, our breath to smell good. We want our, our skin to shine. We want our teeth to shine. We want our eyes to shine because we are the golden race, right? So we put all that in. We're going to grab some water. Get the water out of my thermos right now. By the way, you should be drinking out of stainless steel. No plastic water bottles. It excretes xenoestrogens, give you man boobs, right? If you're, a, if you're a male, if you're a female, water retention and a lot of overweight. So you simply press start and it's gonna boil it, it's gonna seep through and it's gonna make your tea. It's automatically gonna be strained, it's automatically gonna be seeped and it's gonna be ready to consume. There we go, it is now ready. Beautiful, right? Now, mind you, it's still going to be piping hot, so you got to let that sit for at least 15 minutes or so to let it get to a warm, and look at that, beautiful, seeped. This is going to clear up your skin. This is going to help you get a better sleep. This is going to be great for your skin, nails, and hair. I'm telling you, when you, when you eliminate parasites, your uptake of nutrient goes up, so your, your skin is able to contain more moisture, and it's just excellent for overall health in the body. So Shalom Aket, thank you so much. We'll see you next time.